What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to be taking a first look at the newly announced 2022 Subaru WRX. Now, like I said, the new WRX has just been announced this morning, so we don't actually have one in person, but we're going to be taking a look at all the newly released images and taking a look at the press release from Subaru to figure out what this new WRX has in store. Now, I've seen the first initial kind of picture that's floating out there, and to me, it looks exactly like a Crosstrek sedan. So yes, kind of like the Impreza, because that's basically what it is, but more sedan-like than an Impreza. But it has the same kind of front-end stylings of the Crosstrek. It's really a unique blend of the different Subaru models. It look, it's got a little, little bit of Legacy, a little bit of Crosstrek, a little bit of WRX. So I think like typical WRX enthusiasts are not gonna like this. You guys let me know in the comments down below if you are a WRX enthusiast, what do you think of this design? But I think for people that are more used to the current generation Subaru lineup, I think this will fit right in. But let's go ahead and get started on the press release. So this is the fifth generation WRX. It says the Subaru of America introduced the all new 2022 WRX with the most advanced design, features, and performance in nearly its 20 year history. The fifth generation is powered by a new 271 horsepower, 2.4 liter turbocharged boxer engine. So that's not the same that we have on the uh, Outback XT and things like that. This is a new one. It's paired with either a six speed manual transmission or the new automatic transmission with an available high definition tablet style 11.6 inch Starlink multimedia system and the latest generation iSight driver assist technology, which delivers greater performance technology and safety than ever before. So we're gonna be taking bits and pieces of the current generation. So we already have it on the Outback and the Legacy, and now we are adding the tablet style 11.6 inch infotainment screen to this new WRX lineup. Also new for 2022, the WRX adds a new top of the line GT trim with a new automatic transmission called the Subaru Performance Transmission and that is standard on the GT. The new WRX GT offers a first ever feature for the WRX, a new electronically controlled damper, which can tailor the dynamic performance to the driver's preferences with comfort, normal, and sport modes. The drive mode select also offers additional options to configure steering field, damper settings, SI drive settings, and more with up to 430 different customization options. This is also really important for the first time the WRX is being built on the Subaru Global platform, so that kind of makes sense why it falls in line looks wise with everything that we've been seeing in the recent model years with all the vehicles that have been uh, added to the Subaru Global platform. So it kind of just falls in line with that. It offers increased safety, improved dynamics, and reductions in noise, vibration, and harshness. The WRX will be available at Subaru retailers in early 2022. So we will definitely grab one the second we've got one on the lot and take a look at that, but that'll be uh, early next year, I'm sure. All right, let's talk about performance. The 2022 WRX lineup features a new 2.4 liter turbocharged boxer engine delivering 271 horsepower at 5,600 RPM and a broader torque curve with 258 pound-feet of torque from 2,000 to 5,200 RPM. The increased displacement along with the turbocharger equipped with electronically controlled wastegate and air bypass valves improves responsiveness and acceleration. Every WRX has the Subaru symmetrical all-wheel drive. We know that uh, active torque vectoring as well. Coupled with the Subaru Boxer engine is either a six-speed manual transmission which has been fitted with optimized gear ratios and refined for improved shift quality or the new Subaru Performance Transmission, the automatic one we talked about a little bit earlier, which offers up to 30% faster upshifts from second to third and 50% faster downshifts from third to second. The automatic transmission incorporates adaptive shift control that can quickly respond to perform rev matching downshifts under braking, maintaining the ideal ratios through corners and responds faster on corner exits. Total ratio coverage range has been enlarged and lower fixed gear ratios have been revised to improve acceleration and response. The engine and automatic transmission operation can be tailored to the driver's preferences with three different settings for the SI drive performance management system. For additional driver involvement, an eight-speed manual mode can be accessed using the steering wheel paddle shifters. An available external transmission fluid cooler improves durability and capability under demanding conditions. The adoption of the Subaru Global Platform delivers a substantial upgrade in the ride and handling performance thanks to increased chassis stiffness and lower center of gravity height. The enhanced platform, now with a full inner frame construction and increased use of structural adhesives, delivers 28% increase in overall torsion rigidity and a 75% increase in suspension mounting point rigidity. A longer suspension stroke increases vehicle stability and a lateral grip on uneven surfaces. The rear stabilizer bar, now mounted directly to the body versus the subframe in previous models, operates more efficiently and contributes to a roll rate reduction when cornering. And I'm reading all these different performance kind of metrics. They don't mean a ton to me, but I know for you Subaru WRX enthusiast or just uh, rally car, sports car enthusiast, these are important. 
The suspension is track tuned for an engaging driving experience. Optimized front suspension geometry reduces mass offset for the front suspension and a new dual pinion electric power steering system separates the driver's input shaft from the motor assist shaft. Together, these enhancements deliver a quicker response to driver inputs, improved accuracy, and a more natural steering feel. Equipped with summer performance tires on 17 or 18 inch alloy wheels and four wheel ventilated disc brakes, the 2022 WRX has achieved the highest level of dynamic performance and ride comfort in its history. All right, let's get to the exterior design here. This is what I think more people are gonna notice than necessarily the performance increases, even though I know those are significant. The exterior and interior design is really what stands out to the common people. So the 2022 WRX is a wide body design offering an aggressive stance and bold new look. At the front, Subaru's signature hexagonal grille is partnered with compact LED headlights and a broad front hood scoop to emphasize the wide and low look. Prominent character lines across the front, sides, and rear of the vehicle further emphasize the sport sedan's strength and performance capability. The front fenders are now made of aluminum, which reduces the overall vehicle weight by 5 pounds. The rear deck lid has an integrated low-profile rear spoiler in matching body color. Rear taillights are designed to glow with a look reminiscent of volcanic magma. Wow, they are really descriptive there. Several functional aerodynamic improvements enhance the WRX performance and stability, as well as the exterior design. An air outlet at the trailing edge of the front wheel openings allows air to exit from the wheel more freely, contributing to a reduced lift on the front tires and improved driving stability. Another air outlet added to each side of the rear bumper reduces body sway due to air trap behind the bumper. Molded wheel arches and lower trim feature an aerodynamic texture that reduces air resistance. Beneath the front of the vehicle, the engine cover also features the same aerodynamic texture and augments it with geometry that channels airflow to increase downforce at the front of the vehicle. So let's talk about the interior. A black interior with contrast red stitching, we've seen this before, and the carbon fiber pattern accents throughout communicate the performance capabilities of the vehicle. The higher performance feel grows stronger as soon as the driver enters the 2022 WRX and grips the flat bottom leather wrapped steering wheel with integrated switches for audio, voice recognition, and eyesight control. Power windows and auto up and down on both driver and passenger side so all the way around. 60-40 split fold rear seats, power door locks, and side mirrors are standard, as they should be in 2022. The Subaru Starlink in-vehicle experience offers an integrated cockpit experience by allowing the driver to control entertainment and vehicle settings through a large touchscreen display. All Starlink multimedia systems for the WRX offer a high-res touchscreen, on-screen controls for audio, HVAC and vehicle features, combination meter integration, smartphone integration with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, Bluetooth, hands-free phone and audio streaming, AM, FM, Sirius, XM radio, a rear vision camera, HD radio as standard, the top tier 11.6 inch multimedia with navigation as optional, voice activated navigation powered by TomTom. Both the Multimedia Plus and Multimedia Plus with navigation offer a split screen display, a first for Subaru. The display can simultaneously show two types of information such as navigation and audio for improved user interaction. The all new 2022 WRX offers an available 11 speaker Harman Kardon sound system and an HK 504 watt equivalent amplifier tuned especially for the WRX with premium technology to provide immersive sound for every passenger. It's also equipped with Green Edge, which is an amplifier technology that enables passengers to experience superior sound quality with minimal energy consumption and clarify. All right, let's talk about that GT trim a little bit more in depth. So for 2022, the WRX adds the new top of the line GT trim featuring electronically controlled dampers that can tailor the dynamic performance to the driver's preferences with comfort, normal, and sport settings. The new drive mode select offers additional options to configure steering feel, damper settings, SI drive settings, and more with 430 different customization options, like we said. Now exclusive to the GT, we have new Recaro seats that offer the driver and front passenger increased support for performance driving. The Y-shaped design at the center of the seat backrest embodies a design concept in which the sides and shoulder blades of the occupant are securely supported to maintain proper driving posture. The seats are wrapped in black ultra suede with the contrast red stitching and the Recaro logo embossed on the seat backs. The driver's seat includes an eight-way power adjustable seat. The GT also features exclusive 18-inch aluminum alloy wheels and a matte gray finish paired with R18 summer performance tires. Also standard on the GT, you get EyeSight Driver Assist technology with adaptive cruise control and the new automatic emergency steering that we first heard about on the upcoming Forester Wilderness trim. Now, speaking of safety, let's get into the advanced safety features here. So you not only have the upgraded Subaru Global platform, which improves body rigidity, more responsive steering and handling smoother, quieter ride, heightened hazard avoidance in emergency situations, crash protection too. Uh, you also have seven standard airbags, including a driver knee airbag, and then standard on all trims with the automatic transmission, you get EyeSight Driver 
driver assist, enhanced with expanded angle of view, which we heard about on the Forester. You also have better software performance that delivers a wider range of operation. The addition of an electronic brake booster improves braking responsiveness and performance in panic stops. The lane departure prevention function has been improved to provide a smoother and more natural assistance. And for the first time ever in a WRX, you get the advanced adaptive cruise control and lane centering, which is awesome. That works really well. I use that all the time in the Outbacks. Newly available automatic emergency steering works in conjunction with the pre-collision braking system to assist with steering control to help avoid collisions at a speed under 50 miles per hour. All right, let's just quickly take a look at some of these pictures and uh, talk about kind of what I'm seeing here. Um, like I said at the beginning of the video, people that are more um, traditional WRX fans may um, dislike this video and leave a comment about how much worse it looks and <laughs> I can see it all now. They're, they're, they're not going to love the design. Now, if I'm wrong about that, and you WRX and STI enthusiasts absolutely love the updated design, drop a comment down below and tell me I'm dead wrong. We love the design and that kind of stuff. I'm leaning more towards that you won't like it, but I think people more like myself that still appreciate the WRX and the STI variant of it, but love just the generic look of the most recent Subaru lineup, I think you're really gonna like the design of this. I'm a huge fan of the design of this. I think it looks like the um, WRX and the Crosstrek kind of had a baby, which I absolutely love. I'm a huge fan of the Crosstrek, so making kind of a more sedan version of it and, and not like the Impreza. It doesn't look like the Impreza and it doesn't really look like the Legacy. It, it shares some similarities, but it's, it's wider and flatter than the Legacy. Uh, so it's a really, really unique design, and I think it's pretty cool. Now, the only thing I don't really love is the cladding around the wheels. I think it's a little bit too kind of clunky and squared off. I think it takes away from some of the, the lines, but the, the body lines on this thing look absolutely killer. I cannot complain. Kind of the sculpted hood and the sculpted side panels leading to like the front headlights and things like that, I think is they did a really good job with. But I mean, the, the interior is exactly what you'd expect from a modern Subaru. It's got like the big 11.6 inch touchscreen like we talked about. It's got the more aggressive flat bottom steering wheel, but it's in line with everything else that Subaru's making as far as the button placement goes, the look of the wheel and things like that. The shift area is exactly the same, you know, the charging pad area. It all just looks like an Outback or, you know, a Legacy or something like that. I do really like the 18 inch alloy wheels that the GT has so those are really clean and the recaro seats look awesome too nice and padded the interior is more just them updating the wrx to fit in the current subaru lineup the exterior is where i think they pushed it a little bit that's why i said you either love it or you don't or maybe you're in the middle drop a comment down below and let me know i'm curious everybody's perspective on it but you know what if you want something that's a little bit faster and more aggressive than uh you know the legacy or the uh, impreza or something like that this may be your move. No pricing information available yet on any of that, but they're gonna be released here in what, like, I don't know, six months or so. So we'll get it sooner rather than later. Uh, and again, we'll take a look at one as soon as we have one on the lots here. So no pricing information, but there is an STI version coming. So be on the lookout for a video on that. So thanks so much for watching, guys. Drop a like on the video if you loved it. Tell me in the comments down below, what do you think about this fully redesigned WRX? It's gonna be a little polarizing, I have a feeling, but let's have a conversation down in the comments. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button to be one of the first to see every single new video the second I hit publish. We'll see you in the next one.